Isaac from Isaac and the Lich, and I'm so happy to let you know we're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. Oh my god, how much I love RPGs. I just love the living hell out of them. Uh, this will actually be one of three runs we do with this game. There's going to be my run, the Lich's run, and then we're going to have our joke run, which is going to be a lot of fun for you guys. I hope you stick around. But oh my god, I love, like you don't understand, I love role playing games. Every Wednesday, I go out and I play classic paper pencil role playing games, whether it's D&D, &D, uh, Star Wars D20, Pathfinder, just all kinds of games. So, trust me, I am happy to play this. I also bought the digital lux so we're gonna go with normal of course uh, these are some pre-made characters it looks like but I'm gonna create my own character I'm not some noob I'm not a noob I don't require noob help uh, of course we had to select we had to use one of the pre-selected I guess I'll use this one for the portraits oh my god they've got all the basic all the basic races too this is awesome this is really good uh, Asimar which is basically part angel not really gonna go with that half orc always a fun always a fun character race oh my god they even give you the chance the opportunity to change main hand oh my god this is so awesome so awesome so awesome uh, I believe this was uh, crowdfunded too, so half-elf, really good, um, halflings, these, are, these buggers are really good for rogues, gnomes are good for that too, dwarves make for good warriors and paladins, elves are really good spellcasters. Um, SMR also make great paladins too. Orcs are great for warriors and barbarians. Uh, half elves are a good, uh, good between race, between elf and human. But I'm gonna go with human. I know it's boring, trust me. But you know, I kind of want to make this character kind of like me, because you know, that's just how I roll. I'm a big guy, I admit it. I'm hefty. Yeah, bald. Big old. Well, I tend to trim off my beard, but eh. Close enough. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So what class do I wanna go with? I'm gonna go with sorcerer. Regular Sorcerer, Imperial. Saving Throw is going to be Will. Attack Bonus. Sorcerer is a spell class character, so not really going to worry about attack bonuses too much. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the, some of the other characters. Classes, of course, you have Wizard, and they have several... Um, so, several... Uh, <coughs> Sub classes are Kingcaster, Knowledge Arcana 5, Prerequisites. So, yeah. So, these are basically your prestige. I'll probably go into Dragon Disciple once I finish out with my Sorcerer. Uh, Paladin is really good. Oh, God. Monks. Monks! Let me know if you guys want us, want us to make a monk character. Because monks are just OP. Magus, they're, these guys are pretty... I haven't actually played Magus before, actually. So that might be an interesting character to go back forth. Inquisitor, never played that before. Fighter. Fighters are always really good. Of course, they have the different archetypes. Druids are fun. Clerics can be fun, especially in your, when you're in a party. Uh, 
Bard is really fun. That's gonna be part of. That's gonna be the character class for the joke run. But uh, yeah. In in my uh, Wednesday group, we have a player who always plays bards, and she just loves insulting kobolds to death. <laughs> That, that is an actual spell class for bards, by the way. Alchemist, not something I'm familiar with, but definitely something I might uh, tool around with in a different run. Because, I mean, it's a role-playing game. You can't expect us to not sit there and just do massive amounts of runs with this. So... So, infinite number of cantrips. We have three first level spells per day. I love the attention to detail, too. They make this very much like, like the actual role playing game, which is really awesome. Okay, so bloodlines. Uh, let's see what we have. We have Abyssal, Arcane, Celestial, uh, Elemental, Fate, Infernal. Undead? Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um. You know, I'm gonna go with Silver Dragon Bloodline. Just because I can. So that's gonna be interesting. Class skill, perception. Uh, Draconic Bloodline, Arcana Silver. Gives me anything with cold. Nice. Uh, shit. Mmm. This is the one thing I hate. I absolutely hate the point by system. I really do. Um, so, what are these green dots? Oh, I know what these green dots are. These are the, the green dots must be showing, like, the important things, so, but, which is correct. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some really good... Yeah. Because you want your con you want your charisma to be pretty high as a sorcerer, just saying. Um like Ant is pretty good for your class skills. Put some points in con. Not, don't really need strength. So we'll go with wisdom. Uh, I'll add a rank to that. Rank to persuasion. Some knowledge arcana. We're going to need that. Oh, and here's our... So I'm going to boost my charisma. There we go. That'll work. That'll work beautifully. So you want to have that charisma boost. Um, abilities. Ooh, these are good. See, spell focus. Abjuration. Mm. I'm going to go with Universalist. So feet. Mm. No, I don't 
think I want that as my feet. Um, let's see. What else do we find here? Uh, magic and power spell. That'll work. And we'll go greater spell focused universalist too. Okay. Spells. We need spells. My god. Wow, look at all this stuff. Okay. Uh, this is the... <coughs> so this... is our first level spells. I'm gonna go with Burning Hands, which is always a good choice. And Magic Missile, which is always helpful too. Those are always very, very good choices. This will hurt. I'll take care of it. Burn, slice, behead. Strike as one. Let us be off. I feel faint. Enemy near. I am superior! No, thank you. Someone else would make better use of this. I have no use for this. I'll just use my name, since you guys already know who I am. Uh, I'm going to go with neutral good. Alrighty. I do believe that's where we're done. I really do like how the uh, developers have really done this. This is really, really good. Especially character creation. Um, the only thing I definitely don't agree with, of course, is the point value system. I have never liked that at all. I have always, like, I've always preferred dice. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori Swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Ooh. I like the story book. Why do I have a Where bow? Are they? This is taking forever! Didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? <laughs> if you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Ooh, so super important people. Got it. Alright, DM, what you got for me? Greetings, everyone. I am Swordlord Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. Nice. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restock would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. 
Ooh, nice. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? There's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. Why not just recognize the Stag Lord as Baron? You're helping us found a barony, but you... What do you gain from your generosity? What rewards can we expect exactly? It's clear as day. Hmm. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> That's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't. While I still breathe. Okay, that's all I care about. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest room. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? I like always start with... Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Uh-oh, here we go. Feel about this Tartuccio fellow. I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team and he's just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. Wait, a book? I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. <laughs> what what are you doing, lady? I'm level one. They probably did bring a bard. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed <coughs> to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Room to write 
Interesting. So, let's take a look around. Lord Pessimism over here. Nice. Ooh, little uh, quick trays. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So, I guess there's nothing really left for us to do here. So, let's go ahead and head on to our room, I suppose. Loading! So far, this sounds pretty interesting. <clears throat> me likes, me likes a lot. Help! Help! The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers, or we'll all be cut down one by one. Here we go. Oh God! Wait. I'm a magic character! I suck in melee! <laughs> oh no, this is gonna suck! Ends here. Okay, no damage so far. Oh no, this poor bugger. Let's see what he has. Yes, I'm going to loot everything. Come on now. And none of you played in RPGs? You loot everything? If it is not strapped down, you take it. <laughs> Okay. Ah, yeah! test of my abilities. Yes, Bard, tank for me, tank! Wait, wait, no, 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 no. You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed. Ready to lead Lady Jamandis holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies, take this ring, quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll... So let's look at our inventory here. Oh my god, they even have... that is awesome! Like, I'm not gonna lie, that is freaking amazing! Anyway... <clears throat> no. Okay, so... Yeah, chain shirt... Nope, can't wear that. Don't have proficiency. Ooh, let's see what's in here. But companions, yes, yes. They dare to attack me. Uh, 
Burning hands. See what we can do here. AC sixteen, AC thirteen. Really? They killed even the cook? Really? I'm, I'm gonna collect all of that. Right, here we go. Yeah. Hey, the tank! Finally, a proper yes, tank. Quick. Leave this one to me. Serves you right. Strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. You're a snobby asshole. Tell me again why I should care about you whenever you die. Right. Enlighten me. And drink that. Let's go. This is gonna be fun. I'm level one and I'm supposed to fight that? Aren't level ones only supposed to fight things like rats? I get the feeling that the CR level on that is way too freaking high. It's a long sword so I can't use it. Please. There 
life ends here. Strike. Die already. Okay, so these are level zero, so I can cast these at will. Now, let's save our... Time to get my hands dirty again! Go. Go. I'm looking pretty bad over here. So, ooh, I've got some scrolls. That's nice. <clears throat> Wish I knew about that earlier. Now does it? It's not something you sell later. You have ill junk. Your torch, that's nice. So I guess I have zero items that are really helpful here. Hmm. <coughs> Anything else? So we have to find a key. In due time. So an armory. Hey, look. Anything useful? Banded mail, nothing I can use. I'm not a war. Okay, there's the watchkeeper's key. Breastplate, still nothing I can use. Hey, where are you two going? <clears throat> Follow if you dare. Faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathal. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. That's you nice to know. Dead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or... As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side. 
and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. <laughs> Sounds fair enough to me. An additional meat shield? Yes, please. Meat shields are good. Meat shields are really good for my health. <laughs> All right, we have a bard. Applause, please. Bards are good for pseudo no. <laughs> ah! I wrote it like I saw it. I hate traps. Applause, All right, please. trap finder, <laughs> you're up. <laughs> Anything else? Adventures call to them. <laughs> yeah, scrolls are good for a number of things. Is she some kind of cleric? Or something. Unworthy. Uh, I'm gonna use a scroll. This will hurt. New ray of frost that. Is that something I can actually wear for once? Damn it! <laughs> That's right. Chain mail. Chain shirt. I think I'll give her the breastplate. Less chance for arcane spell failure. Same AC, but you get that's an interesting thing. You have got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's one of these things. So we
no, no, no. You, right. you come over here. <laughs> this is getting irritating. <laughs> we should move. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out eventually here. Somehow. Share your will. My patience is running thin. I wrote it like I saw it. State your desire. Adventures call it's to them. Time to act. Speak. Damn it. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Son of a <laughs> Okay, finally. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too long. Heck <laughs> up. I hate those kind of puzzles. So we're going to carry that. That was it. I'm there. All that trouble just for that? Seriously? <clears throat> I mean, it's a bunch of loot, don't get me wrong, but come on. Must. 
And we went... So what are we just... Ooh, oh, ooh, okay, here's a door. <clears throat> I just couldn't see the damn thing. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me! Wretched things. You should have run! No idea why I'm trying to melee everything as a mage. <laughs> My skills are absolute. All right. Sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. That's impossible. Oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Yeah, it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. Hmm. Stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jabandi. You'll have to Where's the hall? Fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here. Those who still live. Your place is by Lady Eldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. Someone opened the gate, let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. All right, <clears throat> let's do this.
All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to do an athletics check for a few reasons. Think about athletics. <clears throat> I'm off. Is no, Seriously, I'm a caster. Melee types up front, casters in back. How this sh that's how this stuff works. But, uh, athletics is a strength check. Obviously, most of the characters don't really have any strength, so dex would have been preferable, which is why I did reflex. Diplomacy is higher because I have high charisma. I'm not going to be able to just athletically go through. Always play the strength of your character, not to your weakness. I'm listening. Let us strike as one to victory! Oh, he's a cleric. Well, hallelujah, buddy. Ray of Frost. Hey, we have cantrips. Use them. Let's go talk to her. Let's talk to Jamandi and see what she has to say. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Lady Adori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king. Yes. Such a gambit would be typical of Iravetti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? I bet my life despise anyone but this man. 
I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior, I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand... <laughs> He's got the eyes of a spy, and the mug of a spy! Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the... An attack is no reason to... That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundary... It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. What about that trick he pulled right? Some scoundrels set your mansion on fire. Leaving them to die bought you mere minutes. May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he... A true leader is some... Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's one. Lady Aldori. Most of those who were to set off for this... I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Mallory. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. <laughs> uh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Nevactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Tartuccio, your words are quite convincing. But I can't afford to trust words alone. If you're really innocent, I hope you'll prove it with your deeds. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, and now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path. And you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Well, I tried diplomacy, but. When you're level one, what can you do? <clears throat> Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Whoop. Adventures can wait. So we have a barbarian, a bard, and an undead eldritch warrior, I think? Maybe? What are we up against? Wolf! Wolves! Ah, easy enough opponents. Two. 
Murray, you can run up and smack that. You can tank that. You. You can daze them. Or maybe not. Alright then. Well, let's get to this. So I'm going to Acid Splash. I'll give our tank something... No! Oh, okay. That's sick. No, not the tank! Yeah, we'll skin them all. Collect. I think I hear someone outside the door. And it might be the lich. Who knows? Our inventory is too great. Yeah, let's begin resting. I'm looking at our gang, and I'm wondering, how the hell are we still alive yet? Everyone's so smart, it makes me sick. Writing smart books, fancy prayers to the gods. I only punch first and then sort it out. I guess that's why we're still alive. <laughs> huh, huh. Wow, this is interesting, kind of. Our weight is too great. <clears throat> well, it's true. We haven't really had any time to go. Really go around and get any kind of real equipment here. Gonna give you a bow for a second equipment. Not really a whole lot. Yeah, we're pretty, uh, Pretty overloaded here. Hmm. Crap. And drop some of the heavier stuff here. All right. Ta -da. Can wait. Huh. 
So we enter this location. I need to find a merchant soon to sell some of this stuff off that we've gathered here. So, let's see. Our barbarian seems pretty interesting. We've had somebody try to frame us as a spy already. I'll give you a hint. The purple gnome probably is the spy. Connivy little bastard. Save ourselves. Yep, you go attack him, you go smack him. Uh, I'm gonna arcane missile him. Yeah, let's daze a bandit. stuff we can collect Yeah, because I'm not going to leave innocent people to die. I think I've got a crap ton of loot that I could, you know, afford to sell. Now there's a bandit attack, so we don't really have time to... Alrighty, let's go talk to these people. Hmm? Ooh, level up! Of course. Take another level in Sorcerer, of course. Arcana 5. Okay. Next. So, skill. So fighter, 
I'm gonna level it a little up. Yes. Uh, athletics. Dear God, what stats do you have, woman? Ugh! Ugh! How do you have... Wait, how do you have minus 10? You have a 14. What's giving you that much of a minus? Damn. Oh, it's armor check penalty. Okay. Okay. That, that makes some sense, I guess. Power attack is always good. Especially for a warrior. Power attack is always really good. Because then you can go into cleave. Uh, obviously, so we're going to level her up in bard. Yeah, bards are always really good high, high skill classes. They really are. that choose spells summon monster that's always helpful um hideous laughter is also is, is always a good one too Amari, yeah, we're definitely doing barbarian. Baba, barbarian. Then we're nature. Rage power. Beast totem. Always a good one. Okay. So that should be good. Hmm. Okay, so I need to get rid of a boatload of shit. <laughs> Um, like we have a boatload of crap that we are not using anytime soon. Um, masterwork. Hmm. All right. My skills are absolute. All right, let's do this.
Gehen. Here they come. To victory. Do not falter. They go down. And ta. Why is my character just standing? Oh. Don't hold back. Protect me, please. Stay behind me. What a miserable. This will hurt. Crap, I'm losing half the party here. Let us strike as one. This spell works differently. Collect all their shit. Talk to this guy. Sorry, guys. Yay, we gain some gold. And we can rest. Sleep. Yay. Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. by the land itself, the bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area, a defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Aid, salvation, we have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him, the one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord responsible yes. for this? It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade. But even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help this you? Fog 
wrapped in shrouds, in tangled suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house, and it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Alright, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Yay! More quests! Hmm... That's an interesting thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop. <coughs> I'm gonna stop this video here. Leave a comment down below and a like if you want to see more of this kind of content. Of course, uh, playing a sorcerer and a spellcaster is always interesting, especially low levels. It's not particularly strong, uh, but once you get in the higher levels, oh god, you rain destruction! But. Uh, We've got us some meat shields. Hopefully I can try and keep them alive. You never know. But anyway, it's been fun, guys. It's been an interesting play so far. I hope this game continues to be interesting and continues to be pretty good. But thanks anyway. This has been Isaac from Isaac and the Lich. Subscribe down. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And hit that bell notification. We upload every single day. Don't be afraid, so don't worry as well if you miss an episode, there's always going to be more. And you can always check us out, back through our videos and playlists. I try to make sure that this channel is as organized as possible. So, anyway, it's been fun. Have a good night. Have a good day. Stay safe. And take care, everybody.